I have a disability. People ask me this stupid question. How you see for sex? That is one of the foolish questions somebody could have ever asked. And I said, I don't know where that's coming from. Kondotai Adla Koma about 1999, which is the reason for my blindness at the moment. How old were you at the time? At about 23, when I realized that I had an issue with my sight. It was it was kind of devastating because I am somebody who born in Kingston, grew up on the street, live on the street as a street boy from about nine years old. So growing up and finding out that you know, now I have your sight, it's going to be a, a, a lot of challenge. When I found out I was blind was one day one day something bite me on the back and when me creeps over my shoulder, the left side, me na see anything over there so but when my go so over the right side, my kinda of glimpse over that side. And when I realize that I start panic and I check it out, no me decide say alright, I have to go up a fish eye clinic that was up by Papi here so. So when I go up by a fish, the doctor that I saw was like, No, see, you're totally blind, man. Within two years' time, you're not going to be able to see nothing. The gentleman was making it seem as if, boy, it's something I deliberately do to myself. And, you know, because he was like, Two years' time, you're going to blind, man. Are you here till now for come? Right? And he was, I can't do nothing, you know, I can't help you, you know. But, uh, yeah, and he, write a prescription for pillow carping and give me and I was like I make it look like say I'm a god I tell me say I got blind in a two years time I wait in year about it was when I said to myself at the time still and I did it and I said you know what I get a second opinion so then started going to the KPH hospital I went there you now them informed me say yes you know I have glaucoma and it reaches stage where, you know, the nerves are already damaged. The first prescription was for two eye drops. One was for a drops named Zalatan and one was for a drops named Timoptic. And the Zalatan and the Timoptic at the time, we really couldn't afford them. Because at the time, me had do a little work which was security work. You understand me? And doing security work, we now work for no whole heap of money per hour. The money is very small. You have to work whole heap of hours to make any money whatsoever. There was a, a lady that I was working with whom I, I was her personal security. So she was living up in Stony, sent up a St. Andrew. So in order to get to work closer, I then had to move from out view live at a place named Guava Gap District. You understand me? So while living up by Guava Gap District, which was closer to my workplace, I start work from there. So, so I go up to and from, to and from, just in order to cut the cars. Also was renting somewhere and that rent was a little bit less than the one at Mountain View. You understand me? And at the time I had um, my present wife now, you understand me? And even though I have a problem with the sight, I still I look out for both myself. I tell myself that I have to take care of my lady the same way, you know? So, it so happened that at the time now she says she's pregnant and I decide so well, all right. I have to buckle down now and take care of my youth because I'm going to make my youth suffer, you get what I say? I start buying things like tin mackerel and some chicken back and things and stack up the fridge and things and start throwing an RBTT partner. Still operate at a mega budget same way, you know, because you know, drops off the David because I have to try to contain the pressure and all of them things there. Talk to the housing just a couple of times well. I got it two times and, and I feel so far because I think them tell me I never have enough points. So I could 
couldn't get anything. Them couldn't assist me. Now that time I go back, them tell me some contribution now come over. Because my workplace not sending it over. So, you know, me I have issues from all different angles, but me still I try, you know. The man I fish did say to me, say, boy, I must blind in a two years time. And when him tell me that, me I said to myself, say, boy, I know him man of God, so he can't tell me anything. But at the same time, in the back of my mind, me I say, boy, that look like me have two years to start out my whole life. That now going to make no sense. Two years can't do all of what I'm supposed to do. You understand? Because I can't take two years to buy one house or build something. I can't take two years to, you know, two years time when I pick me them band, I not think I can see them. All of them little things there. So more time I get depressing because I think to myself, say, really and truly. You know? No one say me is a person where I normally depend on myself and I do everything. I go and mark it. You know? I do my work, me, you know, I just saw me a thing to myself, so sometimes I kind of come down for me like a brick more time, but this I say, boy, you want to care why, you know. I grew up as a youth on the street, and the Lord never leave me alone. He always help me out. Check the house in trust again. And I say, boy, I have enough points this time, but I only have land in a Longville Park and mineralites. When I say, all right, mother likes something and mineralites. Them show me one piece of land where them say them have over the year. I come over, one day and go over mineral lights and I come like Father God was, was working by my side because the day when I go over the year and saw the piece of land, I say yes, this look nice. Because you know as a youth I grew up and you see piece of land and you say you go get this for yourself. You know I think about no. Problem and not issues. You are thinking to yourself, say, yes, this nice man, I might want this. Once I get this, this I'll be my one and I my place, I'll go here. Yeah, so, but it's all that I stand up there when I look one. Large shower rain come down and start wash through the whole place. And when I look all of the water, I run from east, west, north, and south, and up on the piece of land, it come. You understand? The water just a flooding, everything just a come and sickle down upon the land. And so I'm dead in my ass, I said, blow. And me I look on it and I say, so they would have really want to sell me this? Mm -hmm. <laughs> anyway, I say, all right, better I go to Longfield Park. You mentioned that you were completely blind in 2015. Yes. So what do you do to support yourself, to provide for your family? Presently, I am a person who sell movie and music. I moved in to this house 2005. And when I moved in 2005, I have a whole lot of them. And they broke the house, um, took um, one, one little laptop that I had at the time when I said I was use, take most of the movie and music then, um, take a few appliances, cut up the mesh them and all of them things there. And I never really make that deter me the same way, you know. I just go on, do what I do, borrow a money at the time, on a credit card, buy a PC from a bridge named Daka Waterhouse. And um, after I buy the PC from Daka Waterhouse, I start sell the movie and music then. Apart from the movie and music, I also build computers as well. So if nobody have any computer with them want, they can tell me them specific design, what they would have wanted for. Like if I work, them wanted to deal with our gaming machine and so. And then now, when we would have done now, I take for them specs, give them an idea of what would be good for whatsoever they want to do, what the size they would have need and all of them things there. Then now I go to Royals, source the parts them for them. But I source the parts them and so. I come back home, I make them know what is what. Then tell me what they want and I will buy them and put them together and sell them back that machine as to them own personal computer. The same thing I do and build my computers as well because apart from the first one when I buy from the gentleman at Waterhouse, I don't buy any more machine. I build all the other machines. I don't study computer or anything but at the time buying the computer from the gentleman at Waterhouse he always tell myself to tell you the truth, you need to learn certain things in you know, my youth. You can't keep coming to me with a PC every minute. 
for them little issues here because them little issues here and nothing big I just common sense and reading you know so from that I find out so boy I have to start fixing the thing myself and do this and do that so I start dealing with it that way there until you know I kind of get versed in it to the point where if nothing even happen to the PC I see people have PC where them say can't work and can't repair right them carry it go all uh, them high school for them give them top technicians in a, in, a, in a computer for fix and them say it no good I me take it and fix it you said you make old fix as well? yeah man my wife does sewing but apart from the sewing now she is the person who really run the machine but I me deal with the design so these are skills and you learned since you lost yourself? yes Yes, the sewing and things that I have to learn since my last my side, the computer thing, I have to learn that since the last of side. All of these things are things that I pick up after losing sight. Because really, I am a trained shoes maker. I went to a school named Leap. It's an art trust foundation. It's on Duke Street. This job we see me do right now. Me is just somebody who can't sit down and not do nothing. I have four sons. What are the ages? One right now, one is going to be 21, May coming. This year, um, October, one is going to be 19. September, one is going to be 12. And um, one born 2008. So, um, it might be um, um, 14 February. To tell you the truth, right now sending them face to face, it is costing so much, even though I don't really have it. Because one of them now, I'm doing best to go to them be. And them be is where I'm going. You understand me? And for them be I, even though he's on part, a part ticket there says $250. That can't cover lunch. You understand me? The fear from here for him go to school and come back is over five hundred dollars right because really and truly an adult fear is two hundred and twenty dollars from Longville to Maypen right and they are charging the school as one hundred and fifty dollars which is not reasonable nor fear it is really I wear rubber because half of a hundred and two hundred and twenty dollars is one hundred and ten dollars but eventually, we still have to give them their money because we don't want them to throw your child for a road, you understand me? So, we are going to do our best. Despite your disability, what is it that motivates you to keep working and never give up? I remember the person that I was bodyguarding. She was a, a wealthy person. And she had a lot of land and stuff of where we were. And I said to her that um, I asked her if she assist me by selling me a piece of her property then. She said to me that, <laughs> What are you talking about? As long as you live, you will never be able for one piece of land in her life. When she said that to me, I felt disrespected I felt she was abusive and I thought to myself that she was trying to limit my abilities because she's going to tell me where I can own from where I won't own and I decided that all right before me reach 30 I go own piece of land so her speech motivated me to move Towards something. Right now, what motivates me most of all is that I don't like to beg. If I have to beg, I will. You understand me? Because I must say there is a lot of a people in Langville Park who, who they show me a lot of love and respect. And they mostly respect me due to the fact that they know that I am a very hardworking person. And no matter what challenges I am facing, I will never leave my children by themselves. I will make sure that my children are okay. Even if I am hungry, they are not supposed to be. 
and these are the, the things that I stand by, you understand? As a person with a disability, do yeah. people treat you differently? Yeah, I can find that. Yes, some people, many people at times. You have to find that because guess what? The truth is, you know, remember they are seen, I am not, you know. So sometimes they might look on your way and make it look as if, you know, a worker's him for stay so, how him look so, how him operate so, you know. I meet some people that are very kind, loving, and at times, I must say, if I go out on the road and I stand up, I have never stand up somewhere and I hear a, a young man, a woman, a, a stranger, somebody come and say to me, say, you're going across the road, how far you go? You know? You, you want me to um, help you? You want me to walk with you? You want me You understand me? That is all. Them really approach me really and truly. I must say, only if I love the people, them really show me, especially when I go out there. You understand? Well, there is some negative, there is still some positive. Yes, well, there is some negative because I'm tell you this now. In this scheme, them call me DVD and CD King. Right? So sometimes, you know, for a month ago, people are say DVD and CD King, what are going on? But they are tone. Mandeville people still are calling me DVD and CD King. So when them said that me know a plane and straight said these are people from Longville. Now me there Longville and me come across the road to take a taxi. When me come across to take the taxi, me hear a man the pan. Blind me, blind me. Blind me, blind me. How far you go? Where you go by blind me, blind me. So right away, apart from the fact that to me my disrespect. Because even though I'm blind. Really and truly. He never have to say blindy, blindy. He could have easily just look for me and say, How far you going to general? Like other people. You see what I say? Arguably, you know that it's like a culture in Jamaica where they tend to, if to you have a disability, your, yeah, right, they use that. So you're saying that that is not cool and you don't no, feel pleased no, about it. Is, no, I will tell you something. There are blind people right now in this country that feel disrespected. Mm -hmm. And apart from this respected, not for the people them out there that is approaching them and talking to them, is the reason why enough of them don't even live out of them house. You understand? Because really and truly, not because a person is blind, mean that you have to deal with them in a derogatory way. What I realize in Jamaica is that once you have a disability, tends to t people tends to think that you are dead and buried. Put it that way. You can't do nothing. Right? I have a disability. People ask me this stupid question. Oh, you see for sex? That is one of the foolish questions somebody could have ever asked. You understand me? I don't know where that's coming from. You understand me? I have a disability. And because I have a disability, it makes me try to stay away from my surrounding at times. I, I am so focused on my surrounding that the person that is seen not picking up all the way me I pick up. You understand me? I know how close I am to a vehicle and how close the vehicle is to me. You understand me? I know and them I see and may I tell you this. I have been walking with my cane in my hand, put it out in front of me and touching this the, the, the sidewalk, touching the concrete, making a lot of noise with the cane, licking the surface and them walk in on me. And apart from walking in on me, them walk and try to broke all the cane. And after them walk and try to drop over the cane, them turn around and look at me and I say, What to your man, you're blind? I have to say, yes. What is your excuse? You understand me? And the cane is there to show them that I have a disability. You understand me? So the people them out there, some of the time, they are very hard to deal with. May I tell you, they are very hard to deal with some of them. Some of them just tend to, to think that because I have a disability, I must not do anything here then. What you do on the road, man? You know, if you make somebody come do that, man, stay home. Listen, not because I am blind mean that I can't do anything. I am not dead. I must say thank God for a sister that I have overseas. From time to time, 
she is the person who assists me monetary money wise there are persons in this community who also from time to time they might assist me with some food items like a, a basket or you know a bag with some grocery items and stuff which i appreciate and welcome and i have always made very good use of them right now to tell you the truth even though you see the house here if you look at it it's not completely finished are only two areas in other place completely tied you understand me but guess what we are trying to do everything little little we really can't afford it but we still are trying to do it you understand if there is anybody out there who might want to give me some assistance where work is concerned some funds is concerned maybe some material to fix up house and stuff is concerned like some tile and thing may appreciate it and welcome and may i tell them thanks before me even get it trust me